It's Wednesday, November the 14th, and you're tuned in to the Chenobi Podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Anthony. And this is the Geek Chic Culture Show. We talk about all the cool things in the whole wide world. Really? Yes, we do. This is the first time hearing of it. Yes, we do. Welcome to the show, everybody. New week, new set of items to talk about. Kinda. Let's start sort with of. a question to chew on. Yes. Paul Chu writes, you may want to read this out loud after the picks so that I don't steal someone's thunder like I've done in the past. Did you read this question yet? Ha uh, ha, uh, no. Okay. Do you want to read it silently before? Because I think it takes one of your picks. Oh, well. Okay. Shit happens. Okay. Who in the current generation do you feel will have the kind of everlasting impact on pop culture icon Stan Lee? Hmm. If you're somehow living under a rock, just... Side note for those out there, unfortunately, Stan Lee has passed away. Yeah, if you only get your news from us. Yeah, he passed away yesterday, Mm -hmm. on Monday. No, today's today's Wednesday. So two days ago. Two days ago, yes. I think an an obvious answer would have to be George Lucas. And that's fine if that's your answer, too, since his work has literally created universes worth of material for generations to enjoy. But since you guys interact with so many different facets of pop culture, I'm interested in hearing your answers. Who else, if anyone, can have a comparable impact at the end of the life? Hmm. I understand his answer with George Lucas. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it. Star Wars is a thing, but I don't think... Oh, what? It's a big thing. Like... I don't think the kid, the people today who go, who like Star Wars today, associate it with George Lucas anymore. That's fair, right? Like, and I think the only reason Stan Lee is in modern day thing is because he was put into those movies, those cameos, yeah, right? Right, like he 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 reintroduced himself back into yeah. pop culture. There was a point where George Lucas wanted to abandon. Well, no, he did abandon Star Wars. He sold it to Disney. Yeah, he bailed, and so that's why that's the only like. I think he will be remembered. I don't think he'll be as highly regarded though. But that's just me. Uh, that's just moi. Maybe in terms of filmmaking, um, Steven Spielberg. Probably. Right? Like, off the top of my head, I probably couldn't name you a Steven Spielberg film. E.T. There you go. Got one. There you go. But Indiana the, Jones. But what he's done for filmmaking and films in general will be remembered. Yeah, for in, sure. in kind of the same way Stan Lee had pioneered uh, superhero comics. For sure. For sure. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I'm trying to think of who would be revered in pop culture to the masses, but normally, this would be very pretentious and hipster. Like, Uh-oh. I don't like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like the stuff that those people do. Like, uh, who's the guy that did Avatar? Cameron? Yeah, like James Cameron would probably be lauded as one of those people. Uh-huh. But like, I don't think I liked anything that James Cameron's have done. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Like maybe in the gaming sphere, maybe Kojima. Mm. Yeah, not as like. Huge. No, but that'd be like Miyamoto. Like Miyamoto would be that person for yeah for games. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say Bill Gates. He made computers. He made the computer. He did. Um. Right. Steve Jobs was one of those people. Yeah, and look how he was received when he went, right? Yeah. There's no doubt. I think Gates is the next closest one. Mm-hmm. Um, you think, uh, ooh. See, it's weird because, like, Elon Musk would probably be the other guy, or Jeff Bezos or the other guys who are super oh. in power now. I don't but, know. Like, if... would they leave everlasting impact? I don't think so. I don't know if Jeff Bezos would be one of those people because right now he's a villain. Like, he's straight up a super villain. Oh, like, yeah. he Lex luthor his hair. Yeah. Like, did you see um did you see that thing where he was I think he was opening up a factory in or a York? plant in was it New York? New York. And the city was like, Okay, well you're opening this up. Uh for every person for every like robot or automation piece you have, you have to donate a certain amount uh-huh. to help with homelessness in the city. And he just stopped construction on the building. He's like, Fuck that noise. And then they were gonna they they were gonna pass a bill that like would cost them more money. He's like, okay, we'll pay the thing, right? Yeah. Like, no, like Homeboy's a super villain. Like, yeah. he may be re- like remembered, but not in the way normally people would want to be remembered. Yeah. Uh, in turn, Elon Musk though that that's a different story because like he's basically a meme lord at this point. Yeah. Right. What is he dating Grimes? Yeah. And he had that Twitter post that's just send me your best memes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like. I think he does a lot of cool ideas, but until, 
Like, it's so weird, because, like, when I think of, like, Stan Lee, it's like, okay, he created comic books, basically. <laughs> like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But, like, how far does Elon Musk have to go to get the same <laughs> reverence, right? Like, he has to basically put human life on Mars. <laughs> like, it's such a bigger accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think Miyamoto. But the thing is, I just don't know if Miyamoto is as widely recognized as Mr. Lee. True. Probably. Well, I, you know what? Probably. You know what? In Asia, yes. Right? Yeah. Like, that. that's that's strictly North okay. American is I, the center of the world. I got game. the answer. What? Jackie Chan. Jack, oh, Jackie Chan is one of them. You're right. When Jackie Chan dies. It's a... Kung Fu movies it's, are done. It's... It's going to be like end of the world for half of half of the world. Yeah, that's uh, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. China is going to all of China collectively in yeah. tears. Mm -hmm. Singapore and mainland China will come together. Yeah. It's Jackie Chan. Um, it's Michael Jordan. MJ. Yes. Um, yeah. But what about LeBron James? No, 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 <laughs> no. He hasn't earned it yet. What about LeBron no. James? He hasn't earned it. He hasn't earned it. No. Okay. okay. No. Shaquille O'Neal? No. No. Exhibit? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you that pimp my ride, oh, though. Oh, maybe. What about Vin Dizzle? No. No. The Snoop Dio Double Jizzle? No. Dr. Dre? No. I don't think any rappers can do Yeah. No. I think that their their legacy is too wrapped in really consumerism. Okay. For that to matter. Yeah. Like their whole their whole image is about getting yeah. bitches and getting money. Yeah, I don't know if there's any modern day uh, music artist that'll have that sort of legacy, like say An Michael Elvis. Jackson or, or yeah. Elvis. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if there's any modern day. Lil Pump. Oof. <laughs> Ooh. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, to be honest, like the way music is, the mu the way the music industry is run now, yeah. I can't, like nothing is really... Like timeless, everlasting? Time, yeah, everlasting or timeless. Like even Beyonce is in her limelight now, right? Like she's lasted for so long, but like what's the last like really good song she's made? Like that new Car the Carters album sucks. Mm. The one she made with her husband. Well, it's because she made it with her husband. Crazy. That's a mom and dad joint. Yeah, that's a mom and dad joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to listen to Destiny's Child all the time. Oh, mom, Beyonce's not cool anymore. <laughs> oh, dad keeps listening to Big Pimpin' in the car. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Like, I wonder if. I wonder if like how business is run nowadays stops certain like at least artists from being evergreen. Yeah. No, I don't know. Right? Or like or is it strictly just skill? Skill. Right? Cuz when I think I don't know like I think of K-pop like those girls are skilled. Yeah. Right? In what they do. But the way they pump out those bands and the way they they market those members and stuff like it is very flash in the pan get to the next thing. Yeah. Right? Like, what happened to CL? She tried to revive it with Hello Bitches, but nothing will be better than Nega Chain Chalaga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't tell her that. True. Yeah. True. I won't. I won't. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if there's going to be anybody else. That's, in, that's, it, that, that's an interesting turn that this question took. Mm. Can, can modern day people or things or artists become evergreen like a Stanley? Yeah. Like an Elvis, like yeah. a Michael Jackson. I don't think so. I don't know, man. Unless you're like abusing your kids, like MJ's dad did. Mm. Like I don't know if you're you're gonna produce those stars. Like maybe, maybe there is something in <laughs> in just like oh, God. stealing your child's oh, childhood. That's cruel. I don't know. But the thing, like, look at what it produced. It produced a family of stars. Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, they did all go crazy, but they made they made that music. That's what you want to call it. Th that goes into the further thing of uh, there, there's always like a, a question I hear in music is that would the Beatles have been as big if they weren't the first at what they did? Mm. I don't know. You can't answer that. Yeah, you you literally can't answer that question, right? Yeah. But I'm still rooting for the Backstreet Boys, but whatever. 
Backstreet will not come back. Oh, Backstreet's back. I know they're they're all ha- right. They're having a new tour. I yeah. think they just uh, had tickets released today in tr- yeah. for Toronto. Yeah, but I think resales are already at like six hundred bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. I think if the Spice Girls die collectively, then they'll they'll reach that all set. at once, like yeah. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Like they get back for a reunion tour on the plane, the plane goes down. Yeah. Then yeah. that'll be that'll be an event. I don't want that to happen, but yeah, knock on wood. I love the Spice Girls. I'm just saying. I remember they were on top of the world. They were. They had that movie. Spice World. Yeah. They had that PlayStation 1 game. What a classic. <laughs> what a classic. Ooh. Ooh. It's All not right. a classic. It's a garbage movie. Ooh, what a classic. What was that movie Mariah Carey was in? Or was it Britney Spears? Glitter? Oh, Glitter was bad. <laughs> Glitter was really bad. It was real bad. Was Britney Spears in a movie? Yeah, but hers wasn't about being Britney Spears, was it? Uh, okay. Wait, was Glitter about being Mariah Carey? Not necessarily, but it's kind of like a reflection of her career. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Man. Okay, off topic again. I was mm-hmm. listening to a, a Wu-Tang Clan interview or a Wu-Tang Clan song or something. Right. And one of the members goes like, ba- basically the, the lyrics come down to, yo, Mariah Carey's fucking hot and I want to bang her, but that bitch crazy. <laughs> or she looked like she's crazy. And then all the stuff with Nick Cannon, it's like, oh. Wu Tang was right. <laughs> Wu Tang was right. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's it. Thanks for running, Paul. Yeah, thanks. And with that, picks of the week. My first one obviously was the passing of Stan Lee. That's uh, at ninety-five. Died ninety-five. Old boy. Old boy. Yo, this is this is where I feel like maybe I'm a monster. Like I can't tell. Mm-hmm. But I felt like nothing when he died. Not only because like. I'm not related to him. I don't mm-hmm. really know him. Like, he just did stuff. Like, mm-hmm. right? But also, like, he's 95. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a full life, dude. Like, there's nothing to be sad about there. Yeah. Like, dude conquered life until his last days. Like, he was out and about doing shit yeah. forever. I don't think it's sad, no. Yeah. I think it's cool. Or not cool that he died, but it's kind of just like, yeah, no. He lived a full life. Yeah, like, straight he, up. He like, made it. I was reading a stat. He created his first comic book character at age in his 40s wow he started late so like and it, was, and it was one of those things he didn't he didn't start doing the marvel movie thing until 70s yeah or also 80s so also was, the marvel movies have been around for like 10 plus years so like when you think of it that way like if you ever think in there like oh man i'm too old you're not too fucking yeah, old yeah definitely not that's yeah yeah that's nuts that's nuts so yeah good that's really cool me. But he will be remembered fondly, and uh, I think it's already been confirmed by everyone else. Like, yeah, last cameos in the next Avengers. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you can do a Paul Walker thing. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do. Are they gonna CG Stanley's brother? Do you remember? Do you remember any good cameos that that Stanley did? Uh, he it was always like one-off things, right? Yeah. Uh, like he was a favorite? delivery guy. Not really. No, because they were all just like oh, that's funny. But they were all just like very fleeting. Like I can't really remember anything he did. I have one favorite, which is. But it's not in the, any of the movies. Which is. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. It's in Teen Titans Go. <laughs> what? Yeah. He was in Teen Titans Go. And he's like, wait, this is a DC movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, that's so good. And then it turns into him going like, I don't care. I'm Stanley. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I guess the ones where he does make fun of himself is usually yeah. like when he's self-aware. Yeah. Those are usually the best. Yeah, and then he ends it with Excelsior. Excelsior. Yeah. So there you go. Peace out, Stanley. Yeah. Have fun, dude. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all you got. That's all I had. Um. So I got one out of left field. <laughs> is it out of left field? Yo, remember strategy guides? Mm-hmm. Remember Prima strategy guides? Mm-hmm. The premium strategy guides. Mm-hmm. Well, they are no more. What? Yeah, pre- Prima Strategy got shut down. So they're collectibles, are you telling me? Yeah, <laughs> they're rarities now. Oh, fuck. No more reprints. Oh. Yeah. You want that You want that GTA San Andreas Prima guide? Mm-hmm. You can pay a premium. Or, sorry, a Prima. Um. No. <laughs> no. I did it. <laughs> no. I did it. No. I don't know. Like That, that was just like, a new story I saw. That's like a quick little tidbit. It probably means nothing to a lot of people. But I just remember when I was a kid... 
and like strategy guys were the shit like you didn't have internet and if you did have internet it was slow as fuck and mm -hmm. people were just giving you false information mm -hmm. like yo man i remember the the worst lie was if you could beat the elite four in pokemon blue or red 50 times in a row oh yeah with, without healing or using healing items yeah you could get to the polka gods <laughs> <laughs> like professor oak would be like You've you've over you've uh, surpassed the rank of master, and he'd let you walk around the end area, and you could find a secret city that had like polka gods. Yeah, and had a blue Pikachu, and it was just Meryl. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was the way to catch me, SSM. It was not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was yeah. not. Oh, so you can do that, eh? I saw. Like I've done it. The glitch to do it. Yeah. It's not a glitch. You just trade over a Pokemon from who has those moves. And by the time you get to um, that city, what is it, Vermilion? Uh, with SSN? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Once you time, by the time you get, you have a bunch of badges where you can use the HMs of the stuff. Yeah, you but there's nothing over. there. There is nothing there. It's yeah. just an empty truck. Like, oh, I there. thought you were talking about the actual way to catch Mew. Oh, where you gotta like go up Cerulean Bridge and yeah. do a bunch of glitches? Oh no, I've never done that. <laughs> okay. Wasn't that figured out like relatively recently? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's nuts. Like, there is a legit way to... But you gotta, like, overload memory and, like, do yeah. a bunch of bullshit. And then it shows up. Yeah. And it was there from the start. What? What? It's crazy. Yeah. You ever get to Bill's Garden? What? Yeah, there was, like, another glitch where it was, like, Bill's Garden. Where, like, you you didn't save Bill, but you could do it under the story. And then you can go back while he's still a, a Mr. Mime, I think. Oh. And then you could go behind his house. And the grass that's behind his house is Bill's garden and has a bunch of special Pokemon back there. Whoa. Yeah. There's a bunch of bullshit Oh, because you traded to get the HM yeah, so yeah. you wouldn't have to talk to him? Yeah. Oh, there, okay. There's a bunch of lies or whatever. Hmm. But yeah, like, Prima Strategy Guys were, like, the only way to get official information on video games. And it's kind of, like, a big part of gaming history. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of, like, sad to see a giant go down, but with the advent of the internet, right, like... Everybody is their own strategy guide. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of Primas lying around here somewhere. Yeah, I think I got one or two. I think I might... If if it's Rogue Galaxy had a Prima guide, I have that one. And that one's a tome. I think I have the Final Fantasy XII Prima guide. Ooh. I kind of want that. I think I have that one. And the Kingdom Hearts ones. I'll give you a dollar. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. I'll give you a coffee. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. My tempt me. <laughs> a coffee per oh, okay yeah. uh yeah so that's it um and then the last one is probably the biggest news this week is that ryan reynolds is in a new movie yeah he is in the pokemon movie question uh -huh. mark mm -hmm. Detec oh, qu question mark because it's a detective detective pikachu yeah um what the fuck yeah what the fuck is this yeah. what is this yeah. who greenlit this nintendo no, the Pokemon company <laughs> did because they're officially like on the docket, like they're on the title card. Well, they gotta be. It's the Detective Pikachu. The one I'm not surprised about is that it's Legendary doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, what other movie company would do some bullshit like this? Yeah. It's Legendary, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But the Pokemon company signed on for this shit. Yeah. And the nerdy guy from Jurassic Park's in it. Yeah. And Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu. Yeah. What the fuck? With all the sass of Deadpool. What the fuck? Yeah. This is so weird. Yeah. I don't even know what to think about it. Don't think. Just just accept. Just accept it into your body. Oh. Just take it. No. Absorb it. But but realistic Mr. Mime. Mm. Did you see they zoomed in on him and he has hair on his head? Mm-hmm. Uh, did you see the thing that came out of this trailer? No. Which is that people re-brought up the theory that Mr. Mime is Ash's dad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And, like, Ash doesn't age, mm -hmm. but Pokemon never age. They just evolve. Wow. Right? So if Ash is some sort of Pokemon <laughs> human hybrid, mm. it would explain how he never ages all these years. Interesting. And also in the new openings for the Pokemon Sun and Moon, the show, Ash's mom is on vacation with Mr. Mom. Oh, of course she and is. They're always hanging out. Wow. So That sounds like some sort of dark dark truth of Pokemon. Yeah, that's a 
That's you don't want to talk about Ash's dad. No, <laughs> so I do not. Do not get into that part of the internet. No, no, no. <laughs> I I can only imagine the the uh, the sketches to prove the theories. Ugh, ugh, ugh! Disgusting. Uh, furry Pikachu's in it. I yeah. mean, fluffy Pikachu. Yeah, I meant to say furry Jigglypuff. Oh, he is kind of fluffy. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It's gross. But there's a bunch of Pokemon, like all from all different types of different reasons, right? Yeah. And what is it? It's like S City or yeah, I forget what the city's called. It's not Star. Uh, I don't know. Moon. I don't know. But yeah, it's a city, and there's a kid whose dad's missing, and he used to be a cop, and the kid doesn't want to be a cop anymore because his dad was a cop and that was missing. And then Pikachu's a detective, and he's like, "Yo, man, we can team up together because you can understand me like a Meowth." Yeah. You can find your old dad. Yeah. And it's like, uh, okay. Okay, yep, sure. Yep, yep. The coolest thing I heard about this movie was uh, a couple of years ago, there was a guy who did illustrations of Pokemon, but he rendered them as if... Super were... realistic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Turns out he's on this movie. Yeah, he's the one yeah. who did all the Pokemon designs. That's crazy. Good for him. Yeah. Follow your dreams, kids. Um, the other thing I saw was uh, Ron Reynolds gets to play both Deadpool and Pikachu. Yeah. That's like dating... That's range. Yeah, man. That's crazy. I remember it was, like, it was like, it's like dating Scarlett Johansson and some other hot chick that I forget they, that they mentioned. <laughs> good for Gal Gadot. Him. Yeah, good for him. I guess, man, Deadpool really uh, reshot his career, right? Yeah, fuck. Because he was Green Lantern before, and he doesn't let us remember, like, not remember that, but... Yeah. Now he's Pikachu. Now he's Pikachu. Is that better? Is that really better than Green Lantern? Listen, if the movie's bad... Do you have faith? In this movie? Yeah. Th- this is one that I cannot even <laughs> guess. Like, the Monster Hunter movie, I'm just like, fuck. That movie looks amazing. That movie is fuck, No, man. it looks amazing. I know Mila Jovovich has the slinger in that one picture, but what? It looks amazing. Whatever. Did you see the news picture? What? It's four army dudes in front of a Humvee. Yeah, I can't wait. My favorite <laughs> Monster Hunter weapon, Humvee. <laughs> um... But this one, I just have nothing. Like, I have nothing to guess for. Like, I, I don't know what yeah, it'll be. Yeah, this one's just got to watch. Yeah, it's just like when it comes out, get opening tickets, front row center. Let's yeah, do this. You got to do it. Cool. Uh, but other than that, yo, slow week, man. Yeah. Pour uh, one out for Prima Guides. I will say that the Game Award nominees have come out. Mm-hmm. So you can expect maybe next week or number two after that, we'll do our, our guesses. Our guesses or our predictions. Oh, for Video Game Expert 2019. Yeah. 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 It's that, it's that time of year. I've really friend. liked having this title. It's been feeling good. Like I'm yeah. kind of high on power. Yeah, I want to keep it. You're ready to lose that. Thing. I want to keep it. Get ready to lose. I don't think so, bitch. Get ready to lose. Yo, whatever you you weak ass bitch. Get ready to lose. I played less games than you. I'll still prove. You don't it know wrong. video games. I know all the video games. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh damn! But I guess we're going straight into our weeks. Yeah. So what'd you do? This week, let's see. I am deep into Red Dead. How deep? Like, I don't know, 35 hours deep. So halfway. Not even. Because <laughs> I think on um, How Long to Beat, it's uh, it's around 60 hours for the main story. It is. Yeah. I've not been doing the main story. <laughs> I've been trying to just hunt animals. Wow. I finally found the guy who gives you special equipment and shit if you hunt rare animals. Mm-hmm. That's all I've been doing. Wow. Savage. Yeah. You know, you don't need all that. No. But it's fun when you find them and you just dead eye and take 12 shots in the face. <laughs> and you're like, I hunted that. <laughs> <laughs> so much skill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that game is still progressing along. Oh, God, it's so good, but so awful to play. Uh, that's Red Dead in a nutshell. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I got my good horse, though. Get that legend. The white horse? The white horse. Yeah. The, the Arabian awesome boy. Cool. Yeah, he's fast. What happens if he dies? Is he gone forever? I don't know. You should you should find out. Well, I threw him in a river and he died instantly. And? I turned off my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no! Because <laughs> he had some legendary stuff on him. And I was like, uh, okay. It doesn't just autosave at every instance? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. It saves at every like encounter, but if you die or something dies, no, you're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. So yeah, that's Red Dead. Red Dead's been pretty cool. Uh then we're on the Western I don't know mood. Mm-hmm. So I watched the Hateful Eight. 
Isn't that the bad? Wait, is that the Quentin Tarantino one or is that the Netflix original one? No, that's the Quentin. You're thinking Ridiculous Six. Oh, Ridiculous Six. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then the other one is the uh, Magn- did... Magnificent Seven. Yeah. Okay. How did you like um, Reservoir Dogs, the Western? It was good. Yeah. It was real good. I like that movie a lot. Yeah. the The dialogue in that movie is fantastic. Yeah, that's they, a, that's that, all that movie is. It is. It's great. Um, no, I had a fun time. It's really long. It's very long. It's three hours. Yeah. I will say I didn't watch it in one sitting. Really? No, I watched it at night because I started at 12. Oh. And then I went to bed and then woke up the next morning and watched it. The mm. rest of it. So, yeah. No, it was a good movie. I liked it a lot. Um, Kept me on my toes. Didn't really know where it was going. But then I was like, oh, this is a Tarantino movie. They're just going to introduce some bullshit somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, under the floorboards. Yes. Some bullshit. And then that that, actually, that one character. It makes an appearance and you're like, oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty, it's surprisingly gory. Yeah. Like, well, I didn't. Like I know, and I feel like I should have expected it, but it takes so long for the gore to appear. You thought it was gone? You're yeah. Like, okay. I thought, I thought we'd be on. I this. think that's what makes it more shocking. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's it's a good movie. I think uh, Samuel Jackson in that movie has kind of his most like disgusting line deliveries in that movie, like when he's talking about the story of the guy's son in the winter. Big black dingus. Yeah, like that's that's fucking like heinous. Like he played like a heinous oh, heinous character. So warm. Yeah, like even more so than uh, like when he played basically Uncle Tom. Yeah. In uh, Django. Sorry, the silent. My bad, yeah. Django. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was a that was a rough scene. I even yeah. just listened to. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good movie. I do recommend it, but it, again, is not for the faint of heart. Yeah. It is one of those movies where you just have to accept that all these characters fall into place at the very perfect time. Yeah. Like it's they just come together as if destiny okay. chose them. Have too. you seen Reservoir Dogs? Yes. Okay. So, like, I'm just saying you have to accept that. Some people just... Yeah, they can't. Yeah. So, I, I watched that. That was good. Uh, I watched the first episode of The Haunting of the Hill House okay. on Netflix. The uh, House on Haunted Hill? Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Okay. The, house on, the Haunting of the House Hill. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that's... The, the Hill Haunting. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, that seems like a promising show. All right. Seems it's more of the psychological scary. Okay. So, so I, I assume it's about a haunting, on a yeah, hill, a haunted house. Okay, on a hill. Yeah. All right. It's called the Hill House. Okay. East Bond's family called the Hills. All right. Hence the haunting it. All right. Got it. You got it. Got it. Does that make sense? Simple premise. Yeah. Uh, it's about a family who lives there, mm-hmm. and uh, it uh is famous because they get haunted at it. Awesome. Yeah. That's all I got from it. <laughs> Riveting. Yeah, I know. But it does a great job at, like, really instilling no, no, fear. No. Yeah, like, I understand why this yeah. show is made. Like, it's ho- you watch it around Halloween yeah. and do all that stuff. No, it's, it's it seems good. But uh, I put that on the back burner because I want to finish up Sabrina. And? I'm on episode 8 of 10. So I wasn't able to finish it. But I will say it definitely feels like this is not a show with a conclu- that I'm going to get to a conclusion. Is it going to be a season 2? Well, I looked on the episode list and it says part 1. This is all part 1. Oh, okay. So it definitely feels like this is a continuous season. Mm-hmm. And the longer and longer I watch it, yeah, it definitely feels like a like a year-long show. And we've only got the first 10 episodes. Hmm. Uh, I will say, yeah, I, I do enjoy it. It's definitely something you would find on the CW network. Just a little edgier? Yeah, it's kind of like um, if people who liked the Vampire Diaries wanted something that was just darker and way more mystical. Okay. This is it. It's pretty cool. Okay. It's, it's, it's definitely a lot about... You know, worshiping demons and and Satan, and it's kind of cute. They're like they had it's like the reverse of Christianity, <laughs> right? They all go to church at night. Okay, and Satanism. Like, yeah, and they're like, oh, what do, what do, what do priests say in church and stuff? They're Our like, fathers and stuff. Oh yeah, or like oh unholy lord, or this is the most unholy night. All right. Oh okay. Or instead of bless you father, curse you father. <laughs> you know, things like that. Like they just reverse it. Okay. Uh, a lot of the demons have like it's got like almost a really corny comically set of costuming Mm -hmm. so it's supposed to be scary but it's also kind of endearing and lame all right um but yeah no serena herself is pretty cool 
half witch, half mortal. She can do the shit. Um, and she has to choose between the two worlds, apparently? Yeah, that's the, that's how it sets it up. But then they, they find some third path. Okay. To that get around sounds it. like bullshit, but okay. Sounds like teen drama. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you liked Riverdale, this show say it takes place in that universe. Uh, so there you go. Huh. Hmm. So that's Sabrina. So Archie and Sabrina exist within the same universe. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's how it was in the comics. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, oh, yeah, Predator was a part of the Archie comics too. Okay, let's not go there. We're talking about it. That's canon. <laughs> that was in there. Uh, have you heard it? Have you heard anything about Riverdale? No. I my one of my cousins who is a teenage girl keeps telling me that it's pretty yeah, great. Yeah, all teenagers love this show. Yeah. I've been talking to some teenagers on the weekend. Why? Uh I had to for family events. My not my family. Okay. But yeah, this is like a this is the show if you are in high school or the Riverdale. Okay. Um and they were telling me about it. Yo, Archie's in jail. I'm sorry, what? Archie's in jail. He's a criminal. He was framed for murder. No, he's a criminal. Yeah, man. He's in jail. Wow. Uh, they really got free reign with that license, eh? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, wait, hold up, what? They're does, like, yeah, he's in jail. Does Jughead wear a crown? Uh, no, he has a hat. What? He's a beanie. Lame. I does the beanie know. have a crown on it? I don't know, man. It just sounds dumb. I know, that's what I'm like, I need to watch this now. I, I need to know. Don't do it. I it's a tarp. It's a trap. I gotta know. It's a trap. And that's it, I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, My week. Wait, hold on. Okay. What? Overwatch is back in the Oh, rotation. yes. Yes. Back into the Wild West genre. Back in the saddle. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I played Ash. Okay. Ash is... She is chef's kiss is what she is. Hmm. She is perfect in every way. That's a great character. Okay. You know why I like sure. her? Why? Because she's just so simple. Just shoot? Yeah. Shooty shoot? All the most all the most recent heroes have some sort of like hybridization of class slash gimmick. Mm-hmm. She is just, here's a gun and here's some dynamite. Shoot. Let's party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, she's good. She's good. So her repeater, I didn't realize this at first. If you hip fire, it's semi-automatic. You can just keep firing okay. it off. And it has a faster fire rate, lower damage. All right. Aim down sights, it's... it's it uh, is a repeater? Like, it is com- a repeat. She has to repeat it after every bullet. Okay. Your reload is she fills it one bullet at a time. So you oh! can stop halfway if you just need the one, one or two bullet. shots. Okay, okay. And that makes her super, super uh, risque. Risque. I, I think that would make her more versatile. Yeah, she's more versatile, but like, it's just like, do you, do you go for the full reload, or do you just try and get that one shot in and miss? Yo, here's the thing. Yo. You start the round, empty your clip. No. You, just, you play the game just one bullet at a time, oh, babe, because no. all you need is one bullet Oh. in the West. No. Her shotgun is insane. Okay. Is uh, it a shotgun? Like, it seems like it's a rifle. It's a sawed-off shotgun. And oh, the Force of Nature from Team Fortress 2. Yes. Oh, okay. oh my god. You can do some wild shit with that thing. Uh, you can get to anywhere in that in the, any map with that gun. Hmm. She has the, the best mobility. Like her and Genji just hanging out? Yeah. You're right. like, wait, why is this chick up there? And I'm like, oh, right. She's got that gun. Um, balance changes are, are into... Uh, I don't know. They switch some stuff up. Okay. Otherwise, Ash is pretty good. Uh, the current meta go around is called the Smash meta. Okay. Or the Mash meta. I can't remember. But it's basically Ash. Because she take she does too much damage. Like She's gonna get nerfed? Kinda. I, I have no doubt. She does too much damage. Okay. She has she more or less has the one hit capability of Widowmaker without the charge like that her wow. her rifle zoom needs. That seems busted. Yeah. Uh, the only thing she can't do is one shot tracer from the body, but any other headshot she could do. Wow. Yeah. That's um it's something else. It's yeah, it's unfair. Like I, I walked into a, a a game with her, like just instantly just more people down. <laughs> so I have a feeling she'll be she'll be nerfed soon. Okay. She's too she's too good. Anyway, sorry, go ahead, your week. My week. Yo man. Remember Monster Hunter? Oh god. 
I haven't been playing it. Oh, no way. No, because I have been getting through uh, Fist of the North Star. The, was it Forgotten Wasteland something? Lost Paradise. Paradise Lost? Lost Paradise. One of those. One of yeah. those two. Um, the further I get into this game, the more fun it becomes, but the more glaring its flaws are. Um, mainly because I, I don't know if this was made by a B team on the Yakuza side, but it definitely feels like a rushed product. Um, there is a lot of quality of life and just gameplay stylings that don't exist in the new Yakuza games, but they did exist in like five Yakuza five. Um, they have a portion of the game that takes place in the wasteland. Normally you're in the city of Eden, but you get a buggy. And you can go out into the wasteland and go to different towns and stuff. Not really towns. You can go to different deserts. <laughs> like this desert. <laughs> this desert is different from the other <laughs> desert. And and occasionally some dude has a tent. And you can go to the tent. That's nice. Um, but but that whole segment is just really poorly designed. Uh, like there's one section I just did where I needed to get a battering ram in the front of my car so I can break through a rock. So first off, I had to accept a mission, drive all the way out to the other end of the map. To get to the rock, then the then Kinshiro's like, oh man, we can't break through these rocks. We have to go back to Eden to get a bumper. So I have to drive all the way back to Eden. Then Bats, who's one of the characters from the manga, tells me, oh, here's the bumper, but it's not ready for use. So you got to buy materials so I can fix it. And all the materials are back by the rocks. <laughs> so then you have to drive all the way back to the rocks. Then you collect the materials drive all the way back to Eden, put the bumper on, and then drive all the way back to the rocks again, smash the rock, go up into the area where the rock is, where like the rocks were hiding, and it turns out it leads to a dead end, and that area only exists so you can talk to an NPC that you will never talk to again. Wow. It's fucking garbage. <laughs> uh, and there are, certain, <clears throat> there are certain design decisions like that uh, that are artificially padding out gameplay time, and are just annoying. On the other hand, though, fighting is fun. It is very simple brawler combat, light attack, heavy attack. You get all kinds of different uh, Fist of the North Star moves. People blow up very in, in very satisfying ways. Uh, and in true Yakuza fashion, all the side missions are buck wild. Um, one of the side missions is that I get to play baseball in the desert, but the baseball bat is a giant steel beam, and the baseballs are bandits on motorcycles trying to break into the city. So when they drive over your home plate, you hit them with the steel beam and you try and basically send them into the sky. I see. Um, the other one is that you are a bartender and you are you have to use your Hokuto, no, <laughs> yeah, Hokuto Shinken powers in order to make drinks. Oh! And the drinks have amazing names probably the most obvious one is you are already drunk <laughs> hokto 100 shake rush wow <laughs> right and just all kinds of dumb shit like that they really lean into the uh kind of corny oh, punny really going for it, yeah, yeah names in there and i think that's what's keeping me going the game's the game's story is basically a a retelling of the manga yeah. In certain ways, like I am facing in order of appearance characters and villains that appeared in the manga. And I have gotten all the way up to like it's not a spoiler, like your boy Rao's in it. But as soon as I met Rao, then the story started taking its own unique turn. Right. So up until now it's just basically been a recap of introducing yourself to the world of Fist of the North Star. Uh but now I'm getting into whatever the game actually is. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, it's been fine. <laughs> it's been fine. It is it's definitely an okay game. I think you will get way less out of it than, uh, or so you will get way less out of it if you are not a Fist of the North Star fan, because if you want to play these type of games, the Yakuza games are exist, and you can just play those, and they're strictly better. Uh, th this is this is mainly for fan service. Right. I oh actually one of my favorite mini games is uh you're a doctor. And the doctor who was there before you believed in healing music. Mm. So also at the same time, bandits are trying to steal your medicine. So while you're a doctor, music plays and it's a rhythm game. 
So you heal civilians and blow up enemies while you're playing like a Parappa the Rapper esque rhythm game. And they license out like a bunch of music. Okay. Like they have like a like a rap remix of Ode to Joy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. It's, it's really weird. It's really weird. Like they went full ham on this game. It went full. I don't know what to think. Yeah, I, I have a video. I'll show you later. Okay. I put it on my Twitter. Um. But yeah, the the game is disappointingly okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, fine. Right. Like like I'm sad because I was so I was so excited because the Yakuza games up until now, especially the remakes, they've all been fantastic, right? But it's like they've taken all of the worst ideas or all the worst people. Yeah who didn't have the ideas of like streamlining certain set portions of the Yakuza games and just didn't put them on this project. And they just repeated the mistakes of old. Okay. Right. So again, like quality of life things, like when you go to beat a bounty, who's on the other side of the, the map, uh, after you beat the story based bounty, they don't just warp you back to the station so you can collect your reward. You have to walk all the way back, like little things like that, which really make the pacing of the game sluggish. So yeah, it's been sad, I guess. But I'm gonna get through it because I said, told myself I'll beat it before I get to Red Dead. So did you buy Red Dead? I did not. I did not. I will if I do buy it before I beat it. I will be on Black Friday because it'll be on sale. Mm. At least that's what Best Buy says. Mm. So yeah, it's just been that, and it's a uh, it's been kind of disappointing, I guess. It's been a hokuto no ken. Yeah, <laughs> hokuto no fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Other than that, like I have a Monster Hunter build I want to build, but I haven't been playing it, obviously. Yeah. Um. I think that's it. Nice. I think that's all I've been doing is like Hokuto no Ken and just like, like just hanging out with people. Mm -hmm. My friend got a house. Nice. So that it's it's nice. It's a nice house. Cool. And we played a bunch of games. Oh, that's what I I played Mario Party again. I had to, but we played the mode where it's two switches. Oh yeah. Well. Right, where you gotta like draw the line between the switches and whatever. It's like a cool idea. It's executed very poorly. Mm. Uh only like two of the game two of the four games that support dual switch mode use the like the cross sync yeah. up the screens thing. And uh yeah, it's uh, not great. Mario Party's still bad. Don't buy it. Yeah. Good to know. I won't be buying it. Good. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. I won't. I want you to spend your time better than playing mario party i will okay i am awesome called overwatch no 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 <laughs> no i i, I should have known you were gonna go there <laughs> you know the, the more time you spend on overwatch the harder it's gonna be for you to finish red dead i know yeah you gotta finish that game i'm trying the worst it's just that why would they release a western character when, when the western hype is here I guess timing? Yeah, I know. Timing? That's why. That's exactly why. Know. You know why. It's just that playing Ash mm -hmm. feels so much better than playing Arthur. What's the fuck his name? It's not Arthur McCree. Arthur McCree? Oh my god. <laughs> What's his name? I don't don't look at me, man. I only know John Marston. Uh Arthur. Arthur Mc... No, Arthur Morgan. Morgan, there you go. He just... Oh, God, these games are so awful to play. Hmm. So awful to play. Like, you pick up that control and you're like, why do I feel like I'm in molasses? Uh, huh. Uh, Apparently there's a lot of input lag on purpose. Yes. Yes. And it's awful. Okay. The number one, the worst thing with this game is searching for shit in the house. <laughs> You're just bumping into stuff all the time? That or when you're looking... Okay, when you have to go search through a drawer, what do you do? I stop in front of the drawer. Like, in real life, I mean. Oh, I just look in the drawer. Like, I don't... Yeah? Look, yeah, I don't take things out. I just kind of scruff through the drawer. This man. In the game. It's like they were so attached to realism that they went too far. Okay. And the actions he's doing are not what you do in real life. What are they? He goes up. Opens the drawer, mm -hmm. leans over, daintily picks up an item, looks at it, and then opens up his purse and puts it in. 
That's one item. What That's the one fuck? Item. That's terrible. If there's two cans of chicken, yo, you bet he's doing that same animation. No, just there. double hand that shit. <laughs> Stack no, them. No, that is why this game has such a long, long replay value. Because every action in the game is it's like, like 10 that. minutes. Yeah. Huh. It takes fucking forever. Right, I gotta play this game. Forever. I could get through this. Kill me. Can I have your toys? No, if I kill myself. What if I kill you? No, no, no. But you just asked me to kill you. No, I didn't. Okay. I was asking Zawal. Zawal though. <laughs> yeah. That's... Okay. Yeah, yeah it's been my week. I don't All know. Right. It's been it's been kind of I've been brushing up on a lot of recipes that I want to make. I'm watching a lot of binging with Babish. Wow. I was this close to buying bear meat. <laughs> you know, not the whetstone to make that stew. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That bear stew. I'm going to leave you with that. You want to try bear stew? I'm sure it's delicious. I just don't know if I want you to be making it. Why not? I just don't trust you. I mean, those dumplings are really I good. I don't trust you to handle that meat. Listen. Oh, you better you better watch your answer here, buddy. I know how to handle meat. Oh, <laughs> he went there. I know how to handle meat. Oh, All right? God. Oh, God. Oh, Let fine. me give you some references. No. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. That's disgusting. It's not more disgusting than that Fear Factor video you showed me. Yo, guys. Fear Factor. The girls drink donkey semen. No. Check why? it out. Don't... See you next week. Oh, my God.